Hey you guys, it's your boy Strong Bean here and welcome to another video. And this time we are answering 10 questions about me. I went on my Instagram, check it out, and I asked to give me some questions about me, about my channel, and I compiled the 10 best ones and I'm gonna answer them in this video. Let's get into it. Question numero uno. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel and to choose the name Strong Bean? That's pretty easy to answer. I have an answer ready for that and it is because I wanted to. No, I'm kidding. I started my channel like seven years ago after having another channel about energy drinks for quite some time. And before that I had a Rubik's Cube channel for quite some time. Been on YouTube for a long time since I was like I think 12 years old. My last one, the Andrew Drink channel, grew to about 500 and something subscribers but I did have views on there. I did grow a, a network in that community. I had work and collaborations with Azuring companies from around the world, but I had to leave that a bit behind. And then I always wanted to come back to YouTube and do gaming and do geek stuff and do what I love really. So that's, I think, 2017 when I decided to start this channel. The name Strong Bean is actually quite a funny story. A few years before I started my channel, I was at a friend's house. So you know, my real name is Fabio. And we had the idea to research our real names and like look up what they mean like in different languages, in old languages, whatever. And like we were looking it up in German. I don't remember what language or from when this was, but I ca we came across a site that told me that my name, Fabio, means uh, Starke Bohne. Starke Bohne is German for strong bean. Fast forward a few years to 2017 when I started the channel. I was looking, up, looking for a name. I don't know why, but Starke Bohne came to mind. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna name myself Starke Bohne. What if I translate it to English? Strong bean. So okay, there I have it. But I wasn't really satisfied with it, so I did Strong Bean TV. And that's how I started my channel, it's Strong Bean TV. And then three years later, I think two, three years later, I removed the TV and was just Strong Bean. And that's how I started my channel and how I came up with the name. So, question number two. What has been your favorite video to make so far? So my favorite videos, I'd say, were my LGX vlogs or my very first Prime review because I was so excited for it. So I finally had Prime in my hand. And also, I'm always excited for the LGX. So I say those were my favorite videos to make so far. So, question number three is, We've noticed there's no more Pokemon content lately. Will it come back or will you completely stop doing it? So to answer that, how do I put this? The Pokemon hobby is a very, very expensive hobby. And the problem also with creating Pokemon content is you gotta stay on top of the like newest products, get products early, and that's just not possible for me. People won't watch like me opening a box that came out a year ago or something. So that's why my Pokemon content will be reduced heavily to maybe like from time to time, maybe I'll do a little pack opening, but that's basically it. Maybe I'll just do like random shorts of random like boosters I open. We'll see, but yeah, for now, don't expect Pokemon content. <sighs> How do you come up with new video ideas? Question number four. Well, it's not on the toilet. <laughs> Sometimes it is, but most of the times when I need new video ideas, I simply I ask my friends, I ask people on social media, like what videos you would like to see. I do my research on YouTube, what's trendy. I also ask ChatGPT from time to time. AI is a very good tool for that, so you might as well use it. Question number five. Would you ever consider moving to a different country? And if yes, which one? As some of you might know, I am originally from Portugal, but I've been living in Luxembourg basically my whole life. So I actually have two countries I would consider moving to. And the first one being back to Portugal. I love my home country. I would love to go back and like actually live there. I have my family down there. So many things down there that would like push me to go. But I don't know. The final push hasn't come yet, I guess. And the second country is actually Japan. I love Japanese culture. I love the country of Japan. It's a beautiful country. I've never been, sadly. <laughs> 
I don't have the funds yet to go. <laughs> yeah, Japanese culture is amazing. I, I watch videos about Japan like almost every single day and I just love to go. Even if I could just go and live there for like a few months and I like, can roll myself into the Japanese culture and learn about it like while being there be absolutely fantastic. I love everything about Japan. Like the people seem so nice there. The food obviously but sushi being one of my favorite foods of all time and yeah of course like gaming anime like everything the pop culture it's amazing the rich history like all the shrines and temples like nature it just looks like an amazing country and i'd love to be able to go there maybe one day who knows so strolling back to Pokemon it seems with question number six. How much is your whole Pokemon collection worth? Uh, well, I don't have a definitive number like exact number or how much it is worth but I'll I'd say I put it at around <laughs> Question number seven you have recently hit 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, thank you for that guys. How does it feel and what are your goals going forward? It feels amazing! I love it! My goal this year was to reach 1000. I'm already at 2000 and it's going... At this point it's going to 3000 by the end of the year. Which is absolutely insane. The videos have been getting views which is awesome. Thanks for that and goals going forward keep growing. That's basically it. Question number 8. How long does it usually take you to record the video and edit it and upload it? That depends on the video guys, like if it is a reaction video, obviously it's gonna be under an hour for everything like from recording to editing and to like doing thumbnail and something, max an hour. Pokemon openings can take hours, other like top videos like this, also two to three hours I think, maybe more, maybe less. It's very hard to say. Uh, I think my longest video so far was a Funko Pop collection pop it up here uh, that I did years ago I rented out the studio for that a professional studio we had lightning cameras everything like micro external microphones we had everything we needed with like the audio of it audio editing and refining the video editing like the recording everything that video took me more than 20 hours to do so I think that was my longest video I guess Oh, what's your go-to snack or drink while editing videos? No, not a banana. Usually while editing, I don't eat snacks or anything. For drinks, I don't know. Water, prime, hydration, or sometimes an energy drink like Monster. That's basically it. Don't really have a go-to. Here we are at question number 10. What do I do when I finish uploading a video? To be completely honest, I turn off the editing software, I turn off the browser, I post the link to my social media, I close down my social media, I just lay down and enjoy the rest of the day. And like, try not to think too much about it for like the next, let's say 10 hours. And then that's when I go to check on the video, see if it's doing well or not. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah guys, those were the 10 questions about me. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different video. If you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I might do a, another Q&A video in the future. I like doing these, I like answering your questions. And that's it, thanks for watching. Like always, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And see you next time. Bye. I'm going to sleep.